Hello, this is Amy, the hybrid administrator for Rudolph the Tall White Alien. If you would like to become aware of the tall white alien DNA you may possess, please send us an email. As a follow-up, we offer a powerful program in order for you to further develop your tall white alien DNA, as well as your mental and spiritual faculties. These are crucial developments so that you may safely avoid any worldwide catastrophe such as the looming pole shift. Please send a short inquiry with any questions you may have to rudolphofgermany at gmail.com. Rudolph and I both check these messages personally and respond to them. Thank you. Stay safe and stay aware. Amy. Greetings, my human friends. This is Rudolph the Tall White Alien. I have a question for you. What makes you so special? What makes you so special that you choose to pray to God, that he will forgive your sins and eventually takes you in graciously to his paradise? where you can sit next to him on his feet, at his feet, and sing hallelujah for one billion years. What makes you think you are worth this kind of privilege? Well, let me tell you. You think you can cheat nature. You think by being born, wiggling a short period around on planet Earth, and then leaving, dying, that is not enough for you. All creatures in the universe, not only on planet Earth, all creatures come, stay for a while, and go. But you, you want more. You want to live forever and even take your rottening old body with you. Contaminate the atmosphere forever. Nature is a perfect balanced system. In constant move and constant change Things come, things linger, and things go, and become food for the next generation of other beings. But you, you want to escape and say, no, not me. I came, I lingered, I thought, and I pray. And this will take me out of the system out of the loop, out of the eternal loop of things, going around and around, the coming and the going. What makes you so different to an earthworm, a deer, a horse, a tree, a flower, the water which is flowing? What makes you so special? that all what you can look at on planet Earth and above has to go, has to change, has to morph into something else. But you, you want to stay. This in itself is blasphemic. The idea that by praying and being humble and asking for forgiveness of your little sins could, in one way or the other, change the mind of your almighty God and gives you another chance. This idea alone is extremely corrupted. Why not just accepting the fact that you were born, you are here, you enjoy the small things of life, 
in between if you have the chance. And when the day comes, be thankful, be grateful, be happy and say, I had some life and in the course of life, I had also joy. And that's all I'm happy about Rudolf of Germany. <laughs>